For example, um, initially we relied rather heavily on inputs, but since 2005 we have been investing quite heavily in technologies. We bought some of the newest equipments right now and we'll try to produce most of the goods internally. Like, I don't say that we'll produce all the goods internally, but with the help of the cooperation with the, our Eastern partners, with China, with India, with South Eastern Asia, with the Arabic world, uh, with the Commonwealth of Independent States, uh, I suppose we'll um, have a great opportunity to produce uh, almost everything from FMCG goods, uh, from auto industry and the rest. Well, now is the time to shine. You can't change the structure of your economy in a single blow. It will take time. But what matters is that we finally understand that there is no other way around it. We have uh, the basic sectors. We have some of the industry and we are rebuilding the industry. And of course, we heavily invest in the tertiary sector, so the technologies in general. So this is our path going forward. Of course, there will be inflation. We know about it and so we are ready to face the challenge. Okay, very interesting. So I think I can conclude uh, what Alexei just mentioned. Russia is going to save itself. If Russia want to save itself, save it from the sanctions, save itself from the inflation. I think Russia is right now doing is opening up further to the rest of the world and also diversify its own economic structure to have more potential release out of Russia, technology, human resources, rather than just uh, raw materials and energy. I think this is a wonderful idea. Russia understand if it want to save itself in the economic situation, it has to open up, it has to modernize, it has to diversify itself.